Verna Phillips, the godmother of soap operas, wrote the first episode of The Guiding Light for radio in 1937. It jumped to television in 1952 and followed the same characters in the same setting until 2009. Those 72 years of uninterrupted story makes The Guiding Light the longest continuous narrative ever told, its plot extending longer than Homer's The Odyssey, or the Bible, or even Law and Order. In Peter Berger's theory of the avant-garde, he says each avant-garde movement believes they are the ones who finally collapse the boundary between art and life. Breton wrote his dreams. Marionetti looked only at the future. Ginsburg said first thought, best thought. But if a perfect mimic of life is the pinnacle of artistic accomplishment, haven't soap operas gotten closer than modernism, surrealism, performance art, etc.? Soap writer Agnes Nixon said a good soap should make them laugh, make them cry, make them wait. Waiting. Waiting. Critic Ron Simon says soap operas are a relentless series of beginnings and middles without any final resolutions. What if every time John Wayne rode into the sunset, the sun rose in the morning? What if Harrison Ford had to argue in domestic spaces with his wife, his son, his mistress, his business partner, his aunt, his neighbor, his lawyer? That's life, bro. The competitors of Erna Phillips made fairy tales, Cinderella stories. Phillips said she wanted to make something less melodramatic less fantastic. She said, Doris Day movies end when the boy gets the girl. And soap opera 
as in real life, that is just the beginning. Dreams become reality, darling, when you're near to me. Dreams become reality, darling, when you're near to me. Dreams